Hello, and welcome back to Mass Effect with Katrina Cat Shepard. We just finished up Vermeer. We blew up the base where Saren was breeding a Krogan army, but we found out that Saren's not our real ultimate problem. Our real ultimate problem is a Reaper named Sovereign who we had a talk with. And he was like completely arrogant. Uh, he's got no reason to be arrogant because he doesn't realize taking over a dead Turian is a bad idea because once you kill that dead Turian a second time <laughs> he's completely vulnerable so Sovereign's not the brightest pupil in the class that's for sure <coughs> I mean this whole plan to use the conduit to get the Citadel in itself was insane to begin with, he just, just, just should have just sent Saren right to the Citadel before he lost his Spectre status, but no. Sovereign's a moron. But let's talk to the crew and see what they have to say. <clears throat> Hello? Come on. Commander, I wanted to thank you. What for, Garrus? For everything. Taking me with you, letting me be part of your team. I've learned a lot. I've thought a lot about what you've told me. About not sacrificing innocence to achieve the goal. About finding the best way through, not just the fastest. I still think CSEC has its flaws, but I understand why they do it now. I see the importance of being firm in the face of evil. Not letting it change who I am. I'm glad you see it that way. Keep that in mind when we meet Saren. Don't worry, Commander. I will. Ooh. Shepard's had a good influence on Saren. What about Rex? Commander. Things got heated back on Vermeer. You did what you had to do. I respect your choice. I appreciate what you did, Rex. I won't forget it. Just make sure it was worth it. Saren has to pay for what he's done. We'll have him soon enough. Then he can answer for his crimes. He'll do more than just answer if I have anything to say about it. So long, Rex. Shepard. Shepard. It was an honor working with you, Commander Shepard. Despite the losses, our mission was a success. My superiors will duly honor Chief Williams for her actions. Her sacrifice has earned humanity a great deal of respect from my people. She knew what the risks were. Any of my officers would have done the same. Of course. A grim reality that every soldier must accept. Rest assured, Commander, my men and I will not forget what you have accomplished here. We will leave your ship as soon as you reach your next destination. Perhaps we will have the opportunity to work together again someday. You have my gratitude, Commander. Most people would have left our team behind. The Captain considers the mission a success. I defer to his judgment. Uh, Glad I could help. Good luck, Commander Shepard. Let's check in with Tally. Hey, Shepard. Do you need something? I should go. See you later. Now how do we convince Kat here that she should steal the Normandy? I guess she's like, well, the Reapers are this huge, huge threat. And I have to break regs. Despite that. And I've already broken regs by getting involved with Caden.
Commander. Are you coming to check up on me? I just want to talk. Of course. I've been thinking about Saren. I actually feel a little sorry for him now. He's become a slave to the Reapers, and he can't even see it. He is trapped inside his own mind. Part of him senses his identity slowly being swallowed up by Sovereign, but he is powerless to stop it. I wonder how he first fell into Sovereign's trap. Did he think he could somehow stop the Reapers from returning? Or was he simply driven by a lust for power and glory? Whatever Saren's reasons may have been, they're long gone now. He has to be stopped. Yes, I suppose you're right. He may be Sovereign's victim, but he is also a threat to all life as we know it. Uh, let's not spend every free minute talking about Saren. It is bad enough we are chasing him across the galaxy. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. We're so close now. When we deliver everything, the Council will have to mobilize around us. It would be a fitting tribute to Ash if we were able to rally everyone together under the Council. It's been a struggle, but we've earned their respect now. And you've been at the forefront even back in the Blitz. You'll probably get another Star of Terra out of this. I don't think I've ever met a woman like you. You haven't had the easiest life, but I like the man it's made of you. Please, Commander, you'll make me blush. No, Bull Shepherd, I want to follow through with this. It's tough keeping it separated from duty, but when the mission's complete, it'll be different. At least I hope so. Ma'am. That sounds wonderful, Lieutenant. In the meantime, we save the galaxy. Yes, ma'am. I wanted to see how you're dealing with Ash's death. Dealing, ma'am. Sorry for anything I said back there. Adrenaline. I don't like losing people either, Olenko. I've served for years, but never lost a soldier under my command. Not to hostile action, anyway. If you don't mind my asking, how did you deal with the losses on Elysium? It was my job to get everyone out safe. I failed. I vowed not to let that happen again. Same here. I'll remember her, and I'll do better for her. Yeah, I guess that's all we can do. Thanks for the advice, ma'am. What's your opinion on the last mission? Input? Hell, I don't know. We're fighting giant machines from outside the galaxy. Should I be afraid of them, or in awe of them? Anything so old, so intelligent. We may be ants to them, but humans have never managed to exterminate ants. It makes you wonder, are ants any more aware than we were of the giants that walk over their heads? I don't think there's anything Just here. Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? I've wasted enough of your time for now, Commander. We'll have time for personal debriefings later. I thought We'll so. talk later, Caden. I'd like that. I'd like that. Commander, I know it couldn't have been easy for you down there. Making the call between Alenko and Williams must have been... I'm, I'm sorry, ma'am. I just don't know if I could have done it. Yeah, there is no right choice for something like that. I just hope I never have to go through it again. No, I'm not blaming you, Commander. I'm just... I mean, it's hard, you know? Saren's still out there, Joker. Hold it together. We need you. Don't worry, I won't let you down. I want to be there when you make that son of a bitch pay.
For somebody who never left that workbench down in the cargo bay, she sure had a lot of friends. <laughs> the mission update to the Citadel commander. We got confirmation on those reinforcements. Ambassador Udino wants us to report back to the Citadel. The Council's massing a joint species fleet to deal with Saren and his Geth. Took them long enough. Back to the Citadel, Joker. I want the Normandy at the head of that fleet. Yes, ma'am. Good job, Shepard. Thanks to you, the Council's finally taking real action against Saren. The Ambassador is correct. If Saren is foolish enough to attack the Citadel, as you believe, we will be ready for him. Patrols are stationed at every mass relay linking Citadel space to the Terminus systems. Why do you say I never said anything about him attacking the Citadel. Never. Not once. Why do you think he wants to attack the Citadel? I certainly didn't say that. What, did that. what? Where did you come up with this idea? I don't get it. How many ships are you sending to attack Ilos? Ilos is only accessible to the Mule Relay, deep inside the Terminus Systems, Commander. If we send a fleet in there, the only possible outcome is full-scale war. Now is the time for discretion, Commander. Saren's greatest weapon was secrecy. Exposed, he is no longer a threat. This is over. Secrecy isn't his greatest weapon. The conduit is. Saren is a master manipulator. The conduit is just a distraction from his real plan to attack the Citadel. Where did you come up with... How do you know he wants to attack the Citadel? You just made that up of whole, out of whole cloth. You heard Benezia talking about the conduit. Benezia and Saren talking about the conduit. Where did you hear them talking about attacking the Citadel? You guys are delusional. You're idiots. One ship going into the Terminus systems won't start a war. I can be discreet. You detonated a nuclear device on Vermeer. I wouldn't call that discreet. <laughs> Your style served you well in the Traverse, Commander. We recognize that. But Ilos requires a deft touch. We have the situation under control. If Saren finds the conduit, we're all screwed. We have to go to Ilos. Ambassador Udina, I get the sense Commander Shepard isn't willing to let this go. There are serious political implications here, Shepard. Humanity's made great gains thanks to you, but now you're becoming more trouble than you're worth. You bastard! You're selling us out! It's just politics, Commander. You've done your job, now let me do mine. We've locked out all the Normandy's primary systems until further notice you're grounded. <laughs> Are you insane? After everything I have done, you still don't believe me. I think it's time for you and your team to leave, Commander. This no longer concerns you. The Council can handle this, with my help, of course. You know they're all living on a Reaper artifact. They're probably all indoctrinated. <laughs> and that's why they're so stupid. Commander, are you all right? I'm sure there's a way to appeal. We're under Alliance authority, after all, not the Council. Official channels are closed. They were quite clear about that. Closed. And we're supposed to accept that. So where do you think the best view will be when the Reapers roll through? If we have to sit it out, may as well get a good seat. We lost the battle, not the war. I'll figure something out. If I can be of any help, let me know. I hope I'm not out of line saying that.
I don't know. Only romanced successfully romance. I actually took him down. I took a shepherd down the romance path on one shepherd and then killed him on killed him on Vermeer <laughs> to establish her bona fides as ruthless and mission comes first. Let's see. I don't know. Let's go that way. You always this cautious with a sure thing. Yeah, well, I always leave a way out. You know that. I'm here for you. But we're in a rough spot, and the last thing I want to do is muddy things. Like it's all that clear to start with. Are we the pride of the fleet or not? Are we valued agents or just peons? There you go again. I don't know what could that possibly result in her saying. I don't know. I don't hear it. You can't just pull out a good old-fashioned, it'll be all right, can you? It's that easy, huh? Okay, then. Everything will be fine, Shepard. You'll figure it out. If you get me to melt now, when will I figure out how to save the galaxy? Oh, so it's back to business after playing me. Here's something else, you know? Sorry to interrupt, Commander. Got a message from Captain Anderson. Are you spying on us, Joker? No, ma'am. Just knew you were on the ship and figured I'd pass the message on. The captain said to meet him at Flux, that club down in the wards. Well, I guess you better go then. Oh, you don't want to come along? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Let's take Garrus. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Sorry, Commander. The Normandy's locked down. Ambassador Udina gave the order. So you locked those people in? So Presley's and the rest of the crew are just trapped in there, huh? <laughs> After years of poor economic performance, Exogeny has announced that its research colony on Pharos is finally returning a profit. New discoveries and a dedicated colonization effort have finally paid off for Exogeny. Exogeny's stock rose sharply with the announcement, with investors pleased at this surprising news. We heard that news story before. I think I should end it here. It's almost 20 minutes now. And uh, we will get out to Isla's in the next episode. So until then, have a nice day.